Thank you. Let's do the cross examinations and get Your this. Your Honor, I ask my colleague something. Ask him. So if you get the little number and the mind of God do that to you, you are like it. He's not my pastor. I won't go to him. Okay. But if someone did that to you, you are like it. I won't go to anybody. So if it chukus your friend, it chukus the tree. Yeah. It's your young kumu to be That's why this man tell me. Please, arise your client. Your Honor, um, he would like to give a short prayer, if you may. No. no. If it's player, Your Honor, everybody close the A. Cash. Hey, amen. That's it. I, we, I don't want to even. Last time, that's what you do. We don't even. Me, I don't like it. Please, sit down. Your Honor, I want to tag my colleague. Your Honor, is this a wrestling match? <laughs> you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> Your Honor, good afternoon. Good How afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. You? Thank you. I'm also fine. Your Honor, we want to ask him a question. Ask. You say that if my client come to you, with the same, you call it the same. True or false? True. So, my client come to you with a saying that he's going to be in prison cells for 25 years. You take and do for him. True or false? False. <laughs> Your Honor, he changed his mind. The same first one you take. Same second one you don't want to take. Why? Your Honor, I believe going to prison is not a sin. It's a sin. How is it a sin? Because he's still something, they put him on there. Your Honor, you could be innocent and you'd be going to jail. No, my client is not an innocent. <laughs> Let him ask our ho ho. I said no. Why no? Um, Your Honor, I believe he said his late grandfather gave him the numbers. In the we dream. are talking of the sin you have committed. You are saying that great grandfather. <laughs> you said he brings sin. You take the sin. Yes. He's going to jail. You take it. I will because you take it. I can't practice. You take because Jesus. You, your man said Jesus carry our sin. Not to jail. <laughs> to where? <laughs> to death. Then, your honor, if you permit me, I want to create a stick right now. Play the stick. You may want to Your Honor, are you going to be permitting uh, uh, such a primitive act in this court? Um, I, I can't allow that. If we wanted to do that, then there wouldn't be the need for my court. So okay, I cannot allow Your Honor. that. Thank you. We'll do that outside the court. <laughs> but... Our earlier colleague, he said that this is take, take people sin. That is what we are talking about. So if your son, your sheep, he bring expired food, he want to eat. He bring expired food. <laughs> like food expired. Expired, okay, okay. He bring that he want to eat and die. If you collect it, what will you do? I'm lost. You are lost? Yes. If he brought spoiled food. And then he showed it to you that he wanted to eat it. Eat and die. And die. What would you do as a shepherd? You want a hypothetical answer? Yes. You Very gave me well. a hypothetical question. So what will you do? The question is, what will you do? It's not a yes and no. What will you do? I will eat it. You collect and eat it? Yes. You collect the spoiled food and eat? Yes. Your Honor, at this point, I know that our defender is no more... A God man. He's a juju man. <laughs> so I tag my Lena colleague. Your Honor! <laughs> Priest! Your grandfather died? A long time ago. Very good. <laughs> when your grandfather died, have you come to give you a lot of before? No. Very good. Why somebody killed a grandfather to die 
and give him lotto number. You have taken to it. Uh, what you, I'm doing is good. Honor, I didn't stick. No, it's wait. Numbers. No, wait. Do you know what you are saying? What am I saying? <laughs> that he killed his grandfather. Don't touch me. You, if, if you ask me, if you're not him, they might have died already, huh? Your Honor, this man, he can kill him. But you don't have evidence, so can we drop that, very, please? Very good. It's too serious. Your Honor, as I was saying, I didn't stick his numbers. He said 1932. My numbers were 32, 19. Different numbers. And I don't even know why. Which this... means you are changing your story now. No, I'm not changing my story. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't what your lawyer told the court. I, I stick the numbers, but... I, you turn I, them. I, yes, I... So... It was the same numbers? Your yeah. Honor! 32, 19. The same thing Peter do. That time when they catch you, say, somebody see me and say that. Hey! And you are going to be in our country, yes, we are here for one of them. Hey, me. Me name the baby, yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor! That's what Peter do. The same thing this man have do. His lawyer have said something. He too! I said different this thing. Your Honor, Shadulak, Misha, Abednego. They say something. They say that if your grandfather, Your Honor, why you have do your face like that? Um, I read the Bible. Finish with your quote so that I'm com I'm sure before I make a mistake. Very good. Please, help me. Your Honor, Shadrach, Mezak, Abednego, they say that if your grandfather refused to give you a dying gift, you too don't refuse to give him a burial gift. Very good. Thank you, Your Honor. That's why... When Abednego fat, uh, grandfather die, Shadda can they say tell him that we are not going to go to the funeral. Because that man, where he live, he don't give anything. You're That's why the people say that what you have to do is not good. So they put that in this thing. Front goes. Your Honor, what, what, is, what is my learned colleague saying here? They put them in front of goes funeral to burn that. Because what they have to do is bad. Your Honor, this man will do the same thing. Put this man in front of us. Bear him. Wait, oh. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were, were put in the uh, furnace because they, couldn't, they didn't go to their grandfather's, grandfather's funeral. funeral. Very good. <laughs> Your Honor, you realize the fabrication they are bringing in the court? Liars. Liars. Fabricating. Creation. Ah. It's not a lie. We know it. We study beyond Bible. Very good. Do you know the name of the statue you think because of him, Shadrach Mezar go to the front of us? Do you know? No. He is the Shadrach Mezar grandfather. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to your honor. They call him Papa Zibo. 